Hey Leo, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by. Information about my personal readings and everything else about this channel will be in the description box below. Also, if you want to see the um, videos about my tarot decks and flip throughs, uh, you can also visit my um, Instagram. Okay, and um, you can check out my website as well for more details. It's nomadsoulwarrior.com. All info are in the description box below, including the links to those accounts. All right, Leo, let's get on with your reading. What do we have for Leo in love? What do we have for Leo in love? What do we have for Leo in love, please? Tell us more. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. In love. The Knight of Coins. The Queen of Cups. The Lovers. The Five of Cups. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Wands. King of Wands. The Queen of Coins and the Queen of Wands. We have so many people here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Coins. Okay. All right, Leo. Let's see what do we have for you here. Um, okay. So, um, Leo, in this connection that you have, yeah, with the person that you're thinking about now, I feel that um, this is someone that you are pretty attracted to, yeah? Not just um, in some aspects, but I think overall, you're attracted to this person physically, emotionally, mentally, whatever that is, but you are being drawn to this person or you were drawn to this person, yeah? And you've done a lot of accommodations, a lot of um, initiation, yeah, to be with this person yeah somebody that you are attracted to somebody that you have built um emotions with and definitely you want to be with this person yeah but i feel um and i feel that on the process of you doing that you get into some form of um, partnership with this person whether it be a an exclusive partnership or exclusive love affair or whatever you call it i feel that there was a point in time where both of you were going out together just being the two of you you know seeing each other as your two of cups but coming into this reading i feel that um something may have happened that um, has caused you to really rethink about this situation about this connection and about this person Mm -hmm. A lot of things that you have done to keep this partnership going, to keep this relationship going, but it feels like coming into this reading, you also feel a lot of regrets for some reason. And perhaps in the next or in the last um, three weeks or so, you may have tried to get back some, you know, emotional stability within you. Um, when you were disappointed about this connection, about this person in particular, um, you spent some time thinking, ruminating about the situation, whatever has happened here. But it feels like um, you kind of lost trust in this connection, Leo. Yeah. And you've been thinking about it. You've been thinking about the pros and cons of things, of why um, this person may have disappointed you. Yeah. And I feel that, um, like I said, in the past three weeks, because of those thinking, time for yourself, I feel that you are, you are beginning to get back that um, emotional stability within you. You may regret being with this person. You may be disappointed with them. But um, coming into this reading, I see that you managed to have a free flow, a 
a smoother flow of your energy inside out in your body when you deal with other people although you may be hurting inside disappointed inside but you're able to get through your day-to-day -day without really having to show externally those um, disappointments that you may have um, experienced or you're feeling deep inside yeah and that tells me that you are kind of healing from this um, connection leo okay from this connection and um the thing with you though is that you have that fire within you that no matter what happened in your love connection this connection or any love connections or any connection in particular you never stop um lighting up that fire within you so it could be safe to say that um, you're trying to get over a situation and that now you're planning um, some new routes for you, something that is more worthy of your time, something that is, um, you're trying to divert now your attention into things that are more concrete, yeah, more worthy of your time. With regards to your person, Leo, I feel that um, this is someone who... Who can also be very persuasive somebody who is attractive and at the same time um, somebody also who would never stop um, going for what they want so you could expect that if you're trying to pull back from this person if they feel like they want you at that moment this is someone who would come in and um, try to lure you back in yeah but this person is driven by their fire as well you could be dealing with another a person with that fiery energy as well um flirtiness you know light and easy kind of attitude that perhaps that could even be the reason why you are lured in in the first place yeah well one thing about this person is that they want security in relationship so if they found security in you in whatever aspect that is in their life this person will not let you go mm -hmm. and will continue to um, magnetize you back yeah, in the best way they know how. Yeah. But I feel, Leo, that you could also be dealing with this person who, um, while they spend time with you, they feel the connection with you. They feel that there is this emotional bond between the two of you. But at the same time, this could also be someone who is needing to make a choice in love. Yeah. Part of the reason why I see that you could be disappointed is that maybe this person is not 100% invested in this connection the way you see it. Yeah. It's likely that... Um, they show up, they're being with you, but at the same time, they also have other connections. Not necessarily third party, but somebody who may be out and about. Yeah, I'm not saying you're with a player, but somebody who is still... Um, someone who is very free-spirited as well. Mm -hmm. Who is very difficult to tame. <laughs> If you're the Leo who is wanting a rather more committed, fixed relationship, um, I feel that there's a bit of imbalance in that desire because I feel that your person wants to be with you, especially if you do things together that makes them happy. And um, especially if you give them stability, whether it be financial, whether it be emotional or roof over their head for instance but there's that sense that this person would be there whenever they feel like it whenever um, um, they feel secure in a situation with a certain individual so it could be you it could be the other with anybody else yeah um, I could see that um, as of this moment this is someone who may not be fully committed in this situation but is not someone who is not um who is non-committal because i could see that this person would also commit at the right time when they decide that this um they are with someone who could give them that security long-term security long-term stability at the same time could continue continually ignite that passion in them yeah 
As long as there's attraction, there is security and all that, this person would commit. And the commitment would come from them. So I'm not saying that you're dealing with someone who is non-committal. Um, this could be a, an instance where your person is trying to test how far you could give in yeah, to a situation in, in a relationship. Mm -hmm. If you are holding back in terms of what you are investing in this situation, I feel that your person knows about it and they are trying to um, keep this, keep the chase, yeah? They may not be give, giving you 100% of their time and um, when you feel that, all the more you will give in and then they would see how far you could go. That's the way I see it. at least for this week yeah so it may or may not resonate with you but i do see um leo like i said you are healing from this whatever disappointed you in the past about this situation i feel that you are now heading towards something um more concrete for you something that you feel is worth worthy of your time money effort and energy and something that you could really work on yeah to find that perfect balance in a situation because you know you have a lot of love to give and you are more than capable to give security in a situation and you would want to have somebody who would appreciate that yeah and who would see that in a good light that's the way i see it but this person is not i'm not saying that they are not, they're turning their back on you no they feel the connection too but i feel that there's a bit of a keeping the chase so to speak okay so that's that's what i have for you for this week you may wonder why if let's say this person would come back and then later on would be out again that could be the reason why leo i'm gonna leave it at that for this week and um, let me know if this resonates with you in the comment section below if it doesn't check out your other placements and um, you can check out my other readings in my channel i do have tons of readings in there for other signs as well if you like this reading, give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post videos or when I go live to do readings, okay? But if this is Rory Potways, thank you for stopping by.